don't piss me off. Get up, Addy Emmy. Oh my god! Why? 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 I don't need this right now, man. Hey guys, welcome back to the Romel HD channel. Welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United career mode. This is episode 65. So in today's episode, we're going to kick off with a huge game against Chelsea and Old Trafford. Uh, we have played a game off camera. We played the EFL Cup game against Coventry, where we won 3-1. Uh, we also have Galatasaray away from home as well in between. And uh, after that, we have Everton to basically uh, cap off the episode. We are still in a really... Uh, Really bad position, five games in to the season, we are 12th place with only six points on the table. Okay, so for those who haven't been watching the last couple of episodes, uh, we haven't been playing too well. Certain individuals are standing out still quite a bit. So like Jordan Willis, he's got four goals in seven appearances and uh, he's got one assist as well. Jaden Sancho with five goal involvements in seven appearances as well. And then after that, Barella has two goal involvements in seven appearances. So in terms of like the individual output, we aren't getting as much as we was last season. So going into this next game against Chelsea, we have shifted the pack a bit. Uh, as you can see on your screen, we have David De Gea in goal. Brandon Williams comes in for the low. Ferrara's playing at right centre back. Kunde's playing as left centre back. Levan Onasio on the bench. Luke Shaw comes in for Kukurea. Varela is at CDM. Uh, we have uh, De Jong in the midfield with Wurtz as well. Sancho's on the right, Willis is in the middle, and Rashford is on the left. So when it comes to Chelsea, you guys already know, five at the back is my kryptonite. And um, yeah, they do have a lot of star players in their side as well. Uh, I think they just signed Konza this season. I know in real life, he's not that special, he's not that great. But in career mode, he does become like some sort of beast in, at, at the back. And they're playing three top defenders at the back as well. So. I'm not expecting to run through them or outplay them, but I do want to scrape a victory or a result just so we can just get used to winning again. Okay, <clears throat> we have a big game now. Big game, we need to step up. Not let the crowd down. Not let the crowd down as we have been. The last couple of episodes we need to find a way to try claw our way back into like some sort of top four race and then we we'll probably go on from there okay so uh, a big game on the way we're attacking to the right chelsea are attacking to the left um i've worked on my defensive uh weaknesses off camera kind of starting to realize where i've been going wrong um so yeah, I've just adapted a bit. Hence why I've changed like the centre back partnership. Just to switch up a bit. And I think uh patience is probably gonna be my approach in this game as well. Simply because pff, Chelsea are a nightmare. Especially when they hit you on the break. So I'm gonna go defensive as well, just so I'm not committing too many players forward. As Barella. Oh, Sancho running in behind. Goes out wide. Works. Does well to get past Lorente. De Jong. Oh, shot blocked by Cowell. And, uh, oh, well done, Ferrara. Putting pressure on Reese James. Ferrara's a beast. Look at that challenge from Ferrara. He's created a goal scoring opportunity as well. Jordan Willis took an extra touch unnecessarily. Handball from Rashford. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this game. Like, they always take touches that aren't necessary. You can pull the trigger, but they're going to delay the shot. Gives the ball straight back to a Chelsea player. There's a Pulisic. Uh, Pulisic running forward. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. It's a penalty. It's a penalty and a yellow card. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so Chelsea have a, have a penalty. See, that's what I mean. I put myself in silly situations. I should have just waited it out and just let the hair deal with him. I thought I caught up to him in time to actually slide, but I clearly didn't. So, um, Kai Havertz to step up in the 27th minute for Chelsea. Havertz against the hair. He hits the post. I dived the right way, but he's denied ultimately by the post. Look at that. Hit the outside of the post. 
Luke Shaw puts the ball into the box. Ferrara with the header, hits the post. Kunde with the rebound. And we have taken the lead. Three minutes ago, we looked like we were going to concede from a penalty. And uh, Jules Kunde is a guy that's tapping us into the lead. It's 1-0 to United. He gives the ball away. Works. Picks out a pass to Rashford. Dink over the top. Jordan Willis. Oh my God, he's denied by we uh, Mendy. I was going to call him Wendy. <laughs> Denied by Mendy. He caught the volley really nicely. Just wasn't enough, I guess. I just want to know what me and Kukurea are talking about. Okay, so the second half is now underway. We're leading by a goal from uh, Kunde in the 31st minute. Easy tapping. Uh, we do need to build on this, though, because Chelsea, they've not given up. They don't look like they're going to throw in the towel. If anything, that goal's probably going to motivate them even more to come hit me with whatever they have. Here's Reese James. Havertz. Running down this right-hand side. Just going to pay attention to him closely. Oh, Pulisic there. He's there, he's there, he's there. He's got the goal. 1-1. One, one. Oh my god. I thought I was going to get a goal out of that eventually, but nice save again by Mendy. He's keeping them well into this game. If it wasn't for Mendy, we could have been like 4 0 up. So two changes are going to be made on my end. Um, I'm taking off. Yeah, I'm taking off uh, Rashford and Wurtz. I'm bringing on Johnson and also uh, bringing on Pedence as well. So just switching things up a bit. See if we can uh, have an influence on the game through the tactical changes as a pedence oh flip sake man Willis just takes so long to make that run nobody's going forward that's the sad thing about it nice ball over the top come on Willis take this ball down Jordan Willis cutting on your left foot Jordan Willis finish that oh, hits console and he blocks it oh I'm getting fed up of the young man. He's getting old. <laughs> He's getting old. The young is actually annoying me now. <laughs> He's so stiff. No. Not like this. 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 What a save by David De Gea. What a save by David De Gea. Oh, the runs as well is just so shocking. Like, these guys are pathetic. Come on. One, two. Sancho. 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 He's on site. That's a goal. That is a goal. That is a goal. That is a goal. We've won it. We've won it. That's definitely the winner. That has to be the winner. Jaden Sancho has buried it. A nice little one, two. I'm really surprised. Okay, so as you can see here, little pass into um, Sancho from Johnson. So those changes did have an effect in the end. I moved Sancho to the left. It's paid off. I uh, brought Johnson into the game. It's paid off. Okay, so uh, there it is. Final whistle is blown. Manchester United come out on top in this bout between Chelsea and United. And uh, I'm really happy with that performance. I'm quite surprised with how things happen, like ended because normally once my players lose morale and uh, the heads drop it's hard for them to like lift their heads or pick their heads back up but we got the win in the end it doesn't matter how we got it in fact I was quite happy with the performance overall until like the dip in performance towards the end but yeah I'm waffling I'm waffling I'm waffling 2-1 to United fantastic victory okay guys we're almost halfway there we're currently over 150 subscribers if you guys are enjoying my content, please remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and drop some comments below. Also, hit the notification bell just so you're notified when I'm about to release a video. Okay, now that you've done that, let's get back to the video. Okay, so on our last European outing, we end up drawing against Fiorentina, which was quite demoralizing because I felt like we could have gone on to win that game. So uh, the second time around, we are going to try to get the victory against Galatasaray 
We are away from home as well, and this is the starting 11. We have David Ahera in goal, the low at the back with Ferrara, Brown, and Kukurea. Shermeni is the number six. We have Barella as the box of box. Johnston's going to be playing as a hybrid eight and number 10. We also have Shatiri on the right, Leonard's up top, and we have uh, Sancho on the left hand side. So, yeah, again, I'm hoping for a victory. We are sitting at third place at the moment. We've only played one game in the group stage, and this is match day two. So there's a lot of uh, time to actually recover from that draw. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the game and hope for another victory. Okay, so uh, we're attacking to the left. Galatasaray are attacking to the right, and uh, the game's kicked off. Uh, like I said, going into this game, I'm hoping that we can get the victory and get our first three points in this uh, group C group <laughs> um yeah we have rotated the side quite a bit i'm a bit more confident in using some of the players uh, my confidence has in increased a bit i know last episode i was experiencing a lot of self-doubting and uh, second guessing myself in the final third but I'm, i feel like i've got this we can turn everything around there's a uh, delo johnson gonna take a shot oh hits the top of the net it looked like it was dipping, just not in time. Okay, here's uh, Sancho. Leonard's. Sancho, back to Leonard's. Short. 1-0. 1-0 perfect finish from the Belgian striker. Nice finesse from outside the box. Uh, I feel like I'm getting my mojo back. This is how we definitely needed to start the game off. Put this ball into the box. Barella heads it. Oh my god. Ferrara did not need to do that. He could have just span round without falling on the floor and just put his foot through it. That's probably what me and De Jong are moaning about right now. He, he literally could have just buried that. The low. Ball over the top into Brian Leonard's. Perfect ball. Back kills it. Shot from Shaturi. Don't know why he decided to kick it straight at the defender. Oh, the, and like I said, it's like the ball's a magnet to defenders when you take a shot. Everybody's there to block it until it's you. A switch play to the left-hand side. Nice ball to Kukurea. Barella, back into Kukurea. Oh, he's brought down. He's brought down. We've got a penalty. We've got a penalty. Oh, I'm so relieved. Alan Vlasic with the yellow card. Uh, I'm not too sure if I trust uh, Jaden Sancho. Uh, who's going to take this? I'm going to go with Barella. You need to be on the safe side. I'm going to tuck it away as neatly as possible. Make it difficult for him. Aim for that corner. Oh my God. How? How? Wow. No. <laughs> on the counter attack. Oh my God. We've hit the... I don't even know what we hit. It's like we hit the bar slash post. There's Martinez. Oh, they're coming. They're coming forward. Oh, my God. How have we missed that penalty? That's really annoying. We are making the most of it. Ball played in. Far post. Ball taken down by Barella. Was going to shoot. Got closed down really quickly by the time I managed to get control of the ball. It's Shatire. Nowhere to... The space to attack. There we go. There we go. There we go. Not the best of goals, but a goal is a goal. It's 2 0. Jaden Sancho stepping up again. An assist from Oliver Johnson. Uh, hopefully, that is it. If we can get a third, then even better. So I think it's going to be either me or Fiorentina on top of the group with four points. Oliver Johnson. Nice ball forward. Brian Leonard. Oh, I think I've overdone that. No, I haven't. Is he left footed? I think he is. Save is made anyway. Morales with a with a nice save. Okay, so that, that miss was his last contribution to this game. Leonard's is off with Jordan Willis. We have six minutes remaining. Going to give the young English forward some game time. So our top goal scorer so far. Oh, oh, we got a goal from Isaiah Brown. 85th minute. Pretty much the same as the Sancho goal. Not great, not brilliant, but we'll take it. His first ever Manchester United goal. His first ever first team goal for you in general. 
I'm just going to usher him out to the right. Make him remain in a wide area. Cross comes in and uh, full-time whistle's blown. Uh, there we have it. 3-0 victory against Galatasaray. Um, very relieved. I'm very relieved that we actually got a good win. Like we, We've only been winning just about for the majority of our game so far this season. It feels good to actually win by a three-goal gap. For further updates outside of the channel, please be sure to follow me on Instagram at RomelHD so you get further updates such as me premiering a video, if I'm recording a video or making new content and also when I'm about to upload. So follow me on Instagram at RomelHD. Okay, so that's back-to-back -back positive results, positive victories in this episode. Can we cap the episode off by winning our last game against Everton? Let's make it 3-3. Three three. Uh, this is the 11 I'm going to be choosing and playing with in this game. Uh, we have De Gea in goal, uh, Williams at the back with Kunde, Anasu and Shaw. McTominay comes in, he's playing as a number 6. De Jong is back to the box-to-box -box role. We have a hybrid number 8, number 10 in Johnson. And then we have Pedence on the right, Willis in the middle, and Rashford on the left. So um, Everton, I've, I've spoken about them numerous of times in the save. They are a bogey team. They do have a really good side, as you can see in front of us. They have Harry Maguire, Ndika, Aarons. I'm assuming that's Max Aarons. Lunen in goal. He turns into a really OP player by the time you hit like 2025. 20, Messias, Miss, Messias, I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. Sorry for the Mexicans in the comment section or whoever's watching. Um, Lamar as well, he's a good player. So yeah, they don't have a side that we should directly go into the game feeling like we, we deserve three points or a point. They are definitely going to push me and uh, probably try to get a victory on us. But it's on us to actually nullify their attacks and probably break them down because they do have a good back four. Another set of three points could help us rock it up the table. That's the goal. That's the goal. By the time it hits November, I want to be in top four challenging for the title. Uh, that poor start has set us back. But it doesn't mean that's how it, it has to remain. Okay, so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They get the game kicked off. Uh, May United versus Everton in Goodison Park. Uh, let's see if uh, if our, our bad luck is going to strike again against Everton. But the last time they were like proper threats to me. Oh, my controller is charging. The last time they were a proper threat to me is when they had Gabriel Jesus up front. Since he's joined Tottenham, they have uh, died down a bit. Long shot, blocked by Harry Maguire. Pedence, oh, nice ball to this left-hand side. Rashford, you best get to that. Failure. This guy, <laughs> this could possibly be this guy's last season. I don't care if his overalls are 95. You're playing crap, you're playing crap. This guy is getting older as well. He can't afford to slip. Not now. Oh, what a save again by David De Gea. Like Rashford, especially Rashford this season. Been very useless. Willis. Of course Maguire's on me. It's the worst first half I've had to endure so far this season. It's nil-nil. We're going into the interval, barely creating any chances. Passes are not coming off. Rashford is shite as usual. Uh, hopefully, there's not more of the same. Oliver Johnson, ball played over the top, Jordan Willis, runs to it, caught by Maguire, still buries it, still buries it, I'm quite happy with that finish, I'll take that, nice ball over the top into Jordan Willis, I think from Oliver Johnson, takes it down and smashes it home with his right foot, uh, the keeper had no chance, Lunen had no chance, I thought, I thought Maguire was going to drag me to the point it was going to put him off, thank God they didn't. It's Pedence. 
Running at the defence again. Puts a ball in. Rashford on the volley and uh, Max Aarons with the block. That would have been a really nice goal. <laughs> if Max Aarons wasn't there, I'm sure that would have been on target. There's uh, Willis. Uh, no support up front. No support whatsoever. We're on attacking, bearing in mind. Oh, uh, yeah. Gordon. Yeah. Yeah, Zelinski. Zelinski shot is saved by De Gea. I thought he was going to actually smash that. So De Gea keeps us in the game yet again. Keeps us in the lead, I should say, yet again. Look at that. Nice save. Poor shot, though. Florentino. It's a really good CDM on this game. There's Lamar. Bozor. Oh, well done. The pressure. The pressure got to them. We have an opportunity to score. Leonards to bury this. He does. He does. He does. He does. It's 2 0. It's 2 0. And that's our third victory in this episode. So there we have it. There we have it. Three games in this episode. We've won all three of them. Uh, Galatasaray was my favorite victory, but this one takes the cake as well. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the Premier League table now after that victory. We've played seven games in the league and we are seventh with 12 points on the table, a minus one goal difference. So yeah, things are looking up again. We've got four wins in a row. Uh, we've got no draws and we've got three defeats. In terms of like the title race, we have uh, Liverpool at the top of the table with 17 points. They're basically joint first. They're not joint first. <laughs> they, they got 10 goals on goal difference and uh, Spurs have seven goals on goal difference. But yeah, they're, they're neck and neck. Uh, so yeah, Spurs are second with 17 points. Wolverhampton are third with 13 points and Burnley are surprisingly in the top four. Uh, they're fourth place with 12 points, but they're level on points with three other teams. That's Manchester City who are fifth. Crystal Palace, who are sick, and that's also us, who are seventh. So we're not too far away from um, climbing back into the title race, but we are going to crawl before we walk. We're going to think about getting into the top four, and then we're going to think about catching up to the likes of Tottenham and Liverpool. Okay, so in Group C, we are second place because of head-to-head. -head. Um, yeah, we're level on points with Fiorentina, who are first. Third place is RB Salzburg with three points and Galatasaray are still last place with no points on the table whatsoever. Okay, so for the next episode, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Arsenal at home to kick the episode off. We're going to have RB Salzburg after that, away from home. After that, we have Aston Villa. I might make that really quick highlights. And then I'm probably going to include, in the end of the episode, the Carabao Cup fourth round encounter against Liverpool. But yeah, we're at that place where we have to say goodbye to each other yet again. Just going to take these headsets off because they're hurting my head. But yeah, if you made it this far in this episode, please remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new and drop some comments below. Also, share with your mates if you're enjoying my content and hit the notification bell just so you're notified when I'm next about to upload a video. So yeah, just let me know in the comment section below what you think about our performances in this episode. Three wins. Um, in three games which is fantastic last episode wasn't that great it wasn't perfect and the episode before that most certainly wasn't great at all but um, yeah let me know in the comment section below do you think we have it in us to actually turn everything around and start challenging again or do you think I should just crawl before I walk and continue to take things episode by episode thank you for tuning in I hope to see you in the next episode goodbye for now peace